Okay, he's finally here, guys. I'm such a Godzilla fan, and I'm happy about it. Oh, look at that shit. Oh. Oh. All right, guys, I'm so pumped up for this. This is going to be the fight of the century. Scar King against Godzilla X Kong. Bum, bum, bum. And what a better to start this video out with? With Funko Pops. So I'm just going to go through them pretty fast, but... I did get some. I wanted to get an Amazon exclusive right here, and that happens to be the Godzilla one. And um, I'm gonna get it eventually. It's just not in time for this video, so um, this video needs to be out. And it was supposed to be out a week ago. Sorry about the whatever. Uh, anyway, I got Scar King here as a Funko Pop, looking badass. Gives me that Grandpa vibe with that orange ass beard, but it looks pretty cool. Um, he has long ass arms. I have no idea why. I hope it's not like that in the movie. Otherwise, that would be a really weird design. Um, then we got a Target Con exclusive. Um, I'll put a link in the video description of that video so you guys can see what I got for Target Con because I participated this year. So, anyway, this is um, Kong. And he looks bloodlusted with that axe and the Infinity Gauntlet. I love how everyone's like calling it an Infinity Gauntlet. But yeah, this is pretty cool. And then. We have the man himself, my personal favorite, God of fucking Zilla. My problem with these MonsterVerse movies, though, is he's completely sidelined, unless if he's in his own movie. But, other than that, even sometimes in his own movies, I feel like he's sidelined. But, I'm hoping to see a bunch of Godzilla in here, in this movie. So, I mean, they're teaming up. He better be a main character. I was, I'm going to be kind of pissed and let down. But, very cool Funko Pop, very detailed. Also, the Atom or the Atom Blast or whatever that comes out of his mouth that actually can reattach and um, you can unattach it. Um, that motion I did was just very raw. <laughs> I got a dirty mind. <laughs> anyway, guys, those are all the Funko Pops. I, shit. Those are all the Funko Pops that I got for Godzilla x Con. So, without further ado, let's go to the movies. Whoa! Wow. Fuck. I forgot to open up the door. Guys, we were almost not about to see the movie today, so luckily we came out. And um, we're going at Target right now. I'm just looking at more um, Godzilla X Kong, and hopefully we will see the movie. So let's go. Guys, <laughs> we're gonna see Godzilla X Kong, the new empire. So, what the porn parody? I, I don't need, I'm gonna, I'm gonna believe that because I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on YouTube. But basically, P O R N, what does that spell, guys? You got it. Let's watch this movie. I love the fucking marketing that they're teaming up, like, that's just so cool. All right, Fuck let's, yeah. let's watch this. Shit. Edith glasses. Let's do it. Oh, it already started. Guys, Spider Verse across the Spider Verse or whatever was the best theater experience of 2023. This might have just been the best experience of 2024 with all the kind of movies this year that have has not really hit like imaginary is still my favorite movie this year so far but the other two were just one was disappointing and one was just absolute dog shit this movie <laughs> was fucking amazing oh my god this is the best you know, i'm gonna fucking say it. this is the best monster verse movie hands down 100 percent. and i'm fucking i'm just i'm flabbergasted it's fuck. It was so good. Oh my god. Oh. We're speaking like boogies now. Sorry, Ted. All right. What do you rate it out of a ten? Okay. Actually, well, I mean, story-wise, I mean, it's a little weak, but I mean, it does it does have some world building, but it's like it's like in the middle of a series, but you have to like watch the other series to understand. Yeah, I, that's what I was thinking because he's never seen any of the modern. I've never seen any. I, I've never seen any of the modern ones. Is like King Kong, the yeah. 1920s one part of this? No, no, it's not. What? Get out. No. 
So I believe I, I haven't fully seen the MonsterVerse either. I've only seen the only one I have not seen is Godzilla 2014, but it started off with 2014 Godzilla, just a remake, which I heard was really good. Then there was a uh, uh, Kong Skull Island, which that one I barely remember, uh, but I have watched it. And then there was um, Godzilla King of the Monsters, and then there was Godzilla Skull Island X in Kong. the. Godzilla versus. Is it in the one where that it's in the 1920s? They go to that island and they find the I I don't remember much. Is that technically Skull Island Island as well? But basically the. Because there is tribesmen there. Right, but the twist of the movie is that Kong Skull Island's not real. What does that mean? So it was a thing. Just it was a whole containment to trap King Kong. The humans, it was like a, it was basically like a huge trap room, kind of making the illusion that Kong Skull Island was real. But when Kong, like, threw something at the sky, boom, it, it kind of exposed it. So, like, Hunger Games? Sure, we'll go with that. Well, you never seen that scene, huh? I don't think so. But basically, yeah, um, he escapes, and then that's what leads into him finding out how, where Godzilla is and all that shit. And I don't know. For a team-up movie, I really wish that they'd show more of Godzilla and Kong teaming up. Because it was fucking amazing when they were on screen, man. It was pretty together. Sick, yeah. And, no, you say it, there was some scenes where they were all over the place and dangling and stuff like that. It's kind of, it's kind of hard to comprehend the fight. Right. Oh, I can't speak. I'm comprehend. Sorry. Comprehend one. the fight scenes. I apologize. Now, I thought that was pretty... It was a very creative way to fight for a fight scene. I was saying the fight scene is for interesting. I thought Fuck, it. Fuck, I can't speak interesting. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's just kind of all over the place. It, it probably yeah. didn't help that the 3D effect thing kind of fucked, me, fucked it up a little bit. Now, he, he didn't necessarily get a great experience. I, however, I, guys, I highly recommend this shit in 3D because when fucking Godzilla, like, pops up out of the water, it literally looks like fucking Godzilla is literally right there and it's so cool. I mean, I'd recommend this, just not in 3D. Yeah, it's 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 a fun watch. And yeah, is it a little ridiculous? I yeah. Mean, Girl you, has psychic powers What do you, what do you all really expect shit. from a monster movie? I mean, Godzilla kills something. Right. King Kong bash something's head in. That's pretty much all the plot you really need. So. <laughs> Some of the fucking ape scenes were fucking... <laughs> So, the the little shit. Well, I, he's not. So he just bites. Uh, Su- Suko, I think his name is, and then Shimo is the dragon Shimo. one. Shimo, yeah, I think. I don't know. Shimo, ahoy See, papi. I hope that's. I hope that's. Daddy. Uh, I hope that's. Uh, I hope I'm saying those names right. Anyway, Suko though is a little ape. And he was a little shit at the first. He's fucking ferocious. I didn't know. I thought he was going to be a nice character. He was. He was at the end, but at first he fucking bit Kong's finger. And well, he, that's not his fault. He's, you know, he's enslaved. He, he was in tro- He was atrocious at him. And I, he was enslaved. Like, Kong, what was he supposed to do? Kong was a fucking G. And just, and okay, I'm not a huge King Kong fan. I'm surprised didn't fucking kill him. Like, I, like I've told, I don't know if I told my viewers this, but... I love the original King Kong movie. That's it. King Kong was fucking good. The original? Yeah, like it's such an iconic scene in cinematic history where he's with the planes and the yeah. buildings. It's such, it's it's cinema. I love the one in the 20s. Absolutely. He's like yes. he's on top of the Empire State Building. Yep. He's holding the girl, you know. Yep. Like, that's exact. That's just, everyone knows that scene. You ask anybody, not even a movie fan. Who probably haven't seen a movie? Is Mighty Joe Young part of the monster universe? It's a Disney movie throughout a big movie. No, oh, I don't know. Maybe. What if it was? <laughs> that would be fucking weird. Mighty Joe Young. Well, at the end of the that movie, he saves a kid from... He saves a lot of people from falling off a Ferris wheel. <laughs> it's real sad at the end. And then he wakes up and it's all happy. Oh. Huh. No, it has a happy ending. Never heard of it. It's okay. On, on so, when I looked at these trailers, too... Scar King 
was shorter than King Kong. And I'm thinking, what the fuck? Scar King is barely in the trailer. I'm thinking, this guy is going to get his ass fucking whooped. Like, what? He's twice the size. Uh, or he's... Godzilla's like twice the size of this oh, motherfucker. Oh, no, he did get his fucking ass handed. Who? Scar King? Yeah. Hell no! The only reason he fucking, like, won any of those engagements is because of his fucking monster. The... So, that Shimo... Yeah, that is true to a degree. He's such a pussy. No, uh He's a pussy. No way. He's a fucking Scar pussy. King is fucking menacing as fuck, bro. The way that they depict this character, like, you don't even know... You don't even British team. You don't even visually see him, and you can feel his presence on screen, and it's so cool. Like how these well, apes, like how these at apes act. Like, do you see how like they're enslaved, they're tortured, like they're terrified well, of this guy? Tyrant, that makes sense. And it only shows his eyes, like how it shot at first, and then he comes into frame, and it's just fucking menacing as shit. And I'm like, oh, ho, ho, ho. but then I saw he was like, I don't know, twice. King Kong was twice his size. And I'm thinking, oh god, he's gonna get his ass kicked. Fucking Scar King takes out a fucking whoop. Whoop! Bam! Just fucking whips him like I mean, Ghost Rider, like I, Nick Cage Ghost yeah, Rider. Yeah, but like he's fast. I'll give you that. Agile, everything. Like I was shocked how good Scar King he's was. Still gonna get his fucking. He still got his fucking ass handed. I don't think so at I all. I think so. At the end, when Godzilla and Kong teamed up, yeah, 100. percent be, sc- okay, spoiler. The only but, reason that little fucker won is because of his fucking little turtle. Okay. Scar- no. He's a pussy. She- Everybody knows it. Scar, yeah, but Scar King fought King Kong before he even had that beast. How the fuck can you say, Scar? He didn't fucking win though. Scar King? He didn't win. What are you talking? Bro, he, he didn't win. It was like a duel, and they he, they came to a draw. It was like a draw. They didn't. None of them won. Yeah, I I think he was still menacing, but like, spoiler alert, he does die. Scar King does that, which I wish he kind of didn't. But he went out like a G. <laughs> Fucking just got frozen. <sighs> and I, cause he has the most personality. I feel like out of all the monsters, like he laughs, like he has that emotion. He laughs. He's menacing. Yeah. Right. But like. Kong shows emotion to Sue and so Kind of, kind of, but I, I think the worst one to not show any emotion is maybe the well, maybe the uh, you know, Godzilla, I afraid I'm afraid to say. I um, mean he's a big lizard though. Right. He doesn't need to show emotion. Now my biggest problem with these monster movies is that Godzilla is such a side character. And I was hoping for more Godzilla action in King this Kong's movie. Better. And I gotta say Although I didn't feel like he was completely sidelined, I do feel like I didn't get enough Godzilla. So that was kind of unfortunate. That's probably my only grudge, which that just sucks because I really was hoping that I'd see more. I still think King Kong's better. But I King gotta Kong's s- big monkey. Big I, monkey hit thing with stick. I gotta say, fucking King or Godzilla when he was involved, like I was, ch- I was clapping up and down. I was going, this shit's crazy. Were you about to say you're clapping cheeks? What the fuck? I was clapping. I was clapping my cheeks, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so when I'm clapping at this one scene, I'm clapping at this one scene. He goes, "Are you clapping my cheeks, you?" And I'm thinking, "What the fuck? You see it in a room and full of a theater, and it's dark. It's like what? I don't know what's wrong with that light. It's so sad. It worked all the time. I feel like that's always been blinking yellow. No, on the way down, it doesn't do that. So there's a specific time that thing just fucks up. That's weird. That's weird. Anyway, yeah, this movie I highly recommend. This was a fun ass movie, and it no, actually, let's talk about the human characters. I thought that was pretty interesting, like the whole tribe and stuff like well, that. The human characters were, you know, characteristics, but like you're not supposed to focus on the human characters. Correct, correct. But I feel like there's more of a focus in here because they're still connected to the kaiju. They want to try and make them a little better. But and like... I feel like that's what's missing with these monsterverse movies. As you watch them in the future. If you do, nobody's watching it for the plot development. They want to see Big Monkey hit other Big Monkey and other Lizard. You are right to a degree, but that also people are also looking for that story, and I feel like that's what you get in this movie. I feel like in the movies you don't necessarily get a like a too crazy plot with humans. Yeah, they're there for the they're there for the ride, 
there wasn't really a crazy plot. It was just kind of but I feel like still with this scary. tribe, it's it feels connected to the kaiju's and stuff like that. Like it's just it's it's cool. It's interesting. Um, you know, Paul, I I Paul, definitely like the podcast guy. What if Paul Bunyan just came out? Yeah, technically, Paul Bunyan is a kaiju. Big yeah. axe, and so is his you know his his oxen, his big blue oxen, and his other cow. Right. Technically, they are kaiju's because they're fucking huge. What did you, What did you think about the the, the guy uh, Ernie? I think his name is the guy who was like the podcast guy who was recording. I like him. this movie. This I movie. Is he was super, all right. I think he's like major redemption arc. Redemption. Yeah, because in the first one, I feel like he was completely sidelined. He kind of is in this movie too, but I feel like he's more present, and he's just uh, who who isn't. Who's completely sidelined? Like she's not even in this fucking movie. Is uh, Millie Bobby Brown's character? Who the hell's Millie Bobby Brown? Do you know who plays Eleven at uh, in uh, Stranger Things? No, I've never seen Stranger Things. No. Okay. Well, that's the actress. The actress's name. She was in Godzilla: King of Monsters, Godzilla vs. Kong. She's she not really, in this movie. Was she dead in the war? I feel like to Godzilla's story, yes. I feel like she was a huge, huge part of Godzilla's story. But the mutant character, she seemed kind of... Yeah. Also, like like I said, I'm not a King Kong fan, but King Kong went through a redemption arc. I like Kong now, actually. Like, this oh, movie... Why? What happened to Kong? This movie made me like King Kong. Like, he's a real G. Like, he, it, he'll, he'll take fucking defeat, but he'll still get back up. Like, he's not afraid to go in a fight. He's a big monkey. he get big mad. Yeah. Like... When, some of the scenes though where he just throws rocks at fucking apes it's just hilarious it comes off so funny like I know it's supposed to be badass but we were fucking laughing in the theater I mean, like it, it he, was funny but it was kind of bad he takes the fucking little monkey and starts hitting fucking other apes like he uses the monkey as a weapon and I was just like fucking geeky it was it was he uses monkey oh my god he uses monkey not as a sexual object but a fighting object <laughs> oh my god that was bad he was like his sword fleshlight. But like it was, it was fucking insane. Like it reminded me from the scene of from Avengers where you know Hulk's Loki. like fucking boom boom. Beauty the funny God. thing is like <laughs> <laughs> And that's literally what they do in this movie. Yeah. So I think this movie is getting the golden TV. Honestly, this was a great film. Um, best theater experience yet of this year, best film of the year yet. I'm gonna give it a 74% on the Golden TV so I highly recommend this movie this movie was a lot of fun yeah it was kind of stupid fun but this movie was just you get kaiju action okay um, storyline plot with the humans and you get monkey ass clapping and Godzilla fucking tearing shit down I think this is an absolute win of a movie wait Kong did you just say Kong slapped his ass what the fuck yeah I said you get Kong I said apes get their ass on like like oh. it's, it's cool like I I didn't mean literally I didn't mean literally where they just slap their other's asses but I'm, you guys know what I mean I'm making a fucking um so if gorillas have like a four inch dick does that mean King Kong has okay like this is where we're gonna end the review <laughs> does that mean he has like a 40s feet dick he has no dick why would he have no dick how does he mate then Okay, we're getting <laughs> sidetracked. Anyway, he guys. He clapped the monkey's cheeks. That's what he does. <laughs> Why do you think we're related to monkeys? I highly recommend this movie, guys. Subscribe.